previous video I finished reassembling the first of the pair of HP 9100B calculators that I'm working on and um, I'd stripped this unit down completely, gone through all the boards, posted a few videos of um, a few of the minor repairs I'd carried out. Wasn't a great deal wrong with it, mostly just uh, poor joints. Uh, the card reader didn't work and uh, just needed a general clean and tidy up. Um, the problem I was having with it initially was when I was trying to run this diagnostic program it would only run for a short time before uh, crashing completely and hanging or doing something peculiar and starting to put uh, weird values onto the uh, display. And it was uh, random, it was always doing uh, uh, different things and failing at different points so uh, most likely it was um, noise caused by a poor joint or something like that. And um, I've now had this running since I reassembled it for about uh, two and a half, three hours, and it's running fine. There's no sign that it's uh, got any problems still. Uh, still got a little bit of work to do to correct the uh, slight distortion on the display. That's an inherent part of the way these work, but uh, uh, I can correct that. Um, but the rest of it seems working fine. It seems to have dealt with the uh, instability issue it's, uh, as I say, I've been running this uh, self-test diagnostic program and this tests every single function within the calculator repeatedly and just keeps looping around. If it does detect a single error, it will stop and uh, flag out what the error is, but it's been going absolutely fine. And um, it's not getting too hot, it's drawing about the right amount of power. So I'm going to leave this one running for a while and um, we'll start work on the second unit. Okay, this unit has now been running for about six hours non-stop and as you can see it is still fine. Uh, however, um, as the title of this video probably gave you a clue, uh, I'm not going to go straight on to the second of the calculators. There will be a continuation of the series on the 9100B uh, in which I will cover that. Um, but this is the first in a new series of videos in which I'm going to be looking at the printer that normally sits on top of this machine. So um, I think I'm going to um, draw a line under this test. It seems to be working fine. I will be doing far more testing on it. I still have to replace the um, register display board. But um, this unit does appear to be behaving itself. So I'll get it out of the way and we'll get the printer on the bench, have a quick look at it and see what we're up against. This is the 9120A printer and uh, as you can see it's a nice sleek design, very compact and this normally sits on top of the 9100B calculator. I'm not going to put it on there just yet, I want to make sure the underside isn't going to damage the case of the calculator and we can tell just uh, immediately looking at this that it's going to require quite a lot of work to get it uh, up to uh, the required standard. Night interface just plugs directly into the back of the uh, calculator and is powered from the um, auxiliary power socket outlet on the calculator as well. So nice complete integrated unit once it's fitted. Um, does appear to have uh, sustained a bit of damage. I don't think this was in shipping to me, I think this is just the uh, general condition that it's in. Um, these are quite interesting calculators. They work on a, a spark erosion principle. So um, basically you get uh, paper that's coated with a, a very thin film Usually it's aluminium, um, but it can be other chemicals, and um, by applying an electrostatic voltage to it, you kind of erode that material away and it leaves an image on the paper. So you need special paper for this. Very similar sort of system that was used in the Sinclair um, early uh, computer systems, computer printers, and um, it's, it's kind of an interesting technology, but um, it is a pain having to try and source a very special paper. So. Uh, will save um, trying to install the paper until a later video. In this one what we're going to do is take the cover off. I haven't looked inside this yet so I don't know what condition it's in. So I'll pop the cover off and we'll take a look inside. Okay I've loosened off the two screws at the back and we should now be able to lift this cover completely off which we can. It is in fairly good condition, doesn't appear to be broken. And you can see immediately inside this, it's very much a continuation of the design principle for the calculator itself. Transistor uh, logic circuits, 
we've got uh, motor drive, fan, uh, all the usual things you'd find in a very early printer and the print head itself is very interesting um, I'm not going to try and move it because I don't know what condition it's in and I also don't want know what condition the roller is in try and release the tension okay very tight so I'm not going to push it any further it's quite tight there's a piece of paper in here but um, I suspect that's well and truly bonded to the roller so yeah, the paper tension this is this is a paper tension um, release lever and that's kind of quite tight so that's uh, stuck it's probably as I say stuck to the, uh, the actual roller um, so it's quite nice and clean in here it's a lot cleaner than I was expecting just dusty I can't see anything that gives me too much cause for concern and again these are quite easy to work on they're very uh, kind of open in the way that the uh, system works have a quick look underneath the board nothing floating about under there and then on the bottom you just have this um, kind of latch arrangement that uh, these engage with the uh, two screws that I pointed out on the top of the um, uh, the top cover of the calculator a little bit missing out of this there's a bit uh, broken off there's this supposed to be quite soft resilient uh, mount that stops it damaging the top of the calculator but that is rock hard so I'll have to try and do something with that and it's also very compressed so if it's too compressed then the screw heads um, that hold some of the internal workings in uh, poke through and gouge into the top cover of the calculator so we may need to try and find a solution for this uh, uh, seal that's uh, degraded the rest of it looks fine let's see if we can spin okay well it's very tight but it does turn and the power supply on this side and there does appear to be a few issues with the drive belt so I'm just going to pop this cover off there's a drive belt or should be a drive belt under there um, but it looks like it may have completely disintegrated so have a quick look inside okay so yeah as we suspected the drive belt has completely disintegrated on this standard tooth belt um, but uh, that is going to need replacing we just need to work out the pitch and um, find the correct length um, but they're not difficult to uh, source normally and if we really need to we can replace the pulleys as long as we get the uh, general speed and ratio correct okay so that's not too much of an issue and um, everything else seems to be in fairly good order I can't see too many of the things um, that should cause us any problems probably need to replace a couple of these caps but other than that it's looking in very good condition okay so that's what's inside one of these if you've never seen one and um, what I'll be doing here of course as usual is completely dismantling this giving it a good clean finding any uh, parts that need replacing doing some static uh, testing on the board some basic testing on the power supply and um, we'll go from there and see um, what needs to be done fuse appears to be intact one thing to bear in mind with these as well is that this kind of almost hidden uh, mains uh, voltage selection switch and you got to make sure of course if especially if you're in the UK to switch that over before you plug it in um, rest of it seems fine so in this series the next step will be to get this stripped down so in the next video we'll get this dismantled probably going to need to clean the switches and that sort of thing and the main work is most likely going to be with the uh, print head and paper drive system